good morning guys back at sunset beach look what we got in the mail there it is the new one no more gooped up painted up coil and hopefully no more moisture leaks on the inside but uh, like usual gain as high as we can get it no ground balance pulse delay as low as we can set it frequency in the middle threshold where we like it all right let's fire it up and uh, I will get back to y'all as soon as we find anything first target so I don't think it's particularly deep but deeper than that walking in the water right now walking down here whoo the sand is cold ocean feels like bath water compared to the sand signal here. Still down there. Getting louder. No, oh, I did not want to do that. That's deep. Alright, let's give it a wash. Sand is just wet enough, it doesn't want to shake through the holes, so. Looks like a nickel. Wow, that dude is beat up, man. I think that thing has been there a while. Nice. All right. 
another little something down here. I believe we got it. Crusty zinc penny. That's what it is. Moving on. See it sticking up. Tent stake. Well, oh, that is fitting like none of the usual really bad wah wah as I play in the water. That's usually just a given with the pulse delay set at 10, but it's being really mild right now. Even more so than the original TDI that I had. That was the one thing I noticed when I fired it up at home. It just seemed more stable somehow. Infinium is definitely easier to cut through the water with, though. Right, we'll catch up with you should I find anything else. So I'm still going to do a comparison test coming up here within the next few days depth wise between the TDI Beach Hunter and the Garrett Infinium but I don't even know if it's necessary honestly I mean that first target I got today was a nickel and it was easily over 15 inches deep and I had zero problem hearing it might have been a little more of a faint target, but I think probably the deepest thing I got with the Infinium so far was maybe about 15 inches. And that's not a slouch by any means, but it was a faint, really faint 15 inch. And this thing at 18 inches is blop, blop, no problem hearing it. Might be faint, but So I'm pretty sure the TDI is going to beat up on the Invinium depth-wise. But we'll find out. It's just nice to have it back. 
and a new one back at that. They just sent a whole nother boxed up unit out. They didn't just give me the control housing and headphones and uh, coil. I got a whole new package. The shaft, the coil, the chargers, the batteries, everything. So that was nice. Now I can leave that uh, Infinium on the old White's shaft. I was not looking forward to putting it back on that Garrett S shape shaft. Just not very ergonomically designed and not particularly well balanced. Plus they're a little bit on the floppy side. So it'll be nice having a straight shaft for the Infinium. Kind of looks like the water has been up here pounding up against the shore, so might be better off working up here next to the bank. Could have got in and dug up some DBs dragged them down. Got a signal here. Must be tiny. Let's see if we can shake it out. Spill it out. There it is. Looks like a dime. Yeah, that was a really faint signal. Probably was up on edge. Couldn't have been more than six inches deep. silver coins out of here when the bank looks like this. There's a dealer not far from here that uh, I bought my first Garrett Sea Hunter from. And he hunts up here pretty frequently. And uh, boy, we had a really nice cut maybe a year or two ago. The bank was just straight down and about three and a half, four foot, and just had been cut off. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, there were silver dimes and quarters. We had unearthed a lot of old coin. Should we find anything else? The second I turn the camera off, I get a signal. Kind of loud, so I don't think it's deep. Michelob Ultra. 
Nice. One of those ear destroying signals. <laughs> That's why. Big old spoon. <laughs> wife hates it when I bring home silverware like that. But it's like brand new, why wouldn't I? So I take it home, throw it in the dishwasher. And she looks at me funny. I explain to her when we go to a restaurant, she uses used but for some reason that don't matter. It's just something about finding something in the dirt and then sticking it in your mouth, I guess. I don't know, this signal, oh, there it is. It's thinking it disappeared on me. That's a brad nail or half of a paper clip or staple, not a brad nail, but either way, nothing I want. All right, we'll catch up with you on the next one. Kind of a loud signal. Let's give it a wash. Nice. Looks like we got another nickel in there. That's what it is. Another old one been there a little while. Cool. All right, catch up with the you on the next. Coming out, it's getting warm. See if we get any condensation built up. Give it a minute and into the sun so the case is exposed and get warm after being cold if there is any in there I don't see it Certainly nothing like the first one I had. One quick dunk and all the corners would fog right up. This one's got nothing. Ooh. 
We'll keep checking that as time goes on though, because I don't know, maybe the air temperature is not warm enough to fog it up or who knows. So far so good though. Nothing obviously fogging it up, so. Targets are petering out. Been a while since I dug anything, so I'm probably going to wrap it up here shortly, but still wanting to get this thing wet and see if it's going to fog up on me. The sun's even warmer now, so... Let's see if we can get it to do what the old one did. If it is, I ain't seeing it. That's good. Don't want moisture in there. I guess there's not much point in having a wrap up today. A couple of nickels and a dime and a penny or two it doesn't make for a whole lot of anything to show. Mostly just wanted to get out here and test it, make sure it's working right. And seems to be doing fine. Still don't see any condensation inside after dunking it. I would say it's plenty warm enough now that if it was going to, it would be there. I noticed the uh, knobs on it are more firm on turning. Got a signal here. See a penny. That's down there a ways. Cool. Sand is really soft underfoot still, so it's either pushing it up from the ocean or dragging it down from above, and maybe both, but normally through here it's pretty rock hard, but everywhere you step now, your feet just go right in. So it's gotten piled up from some source. Still no condensation. Woo! Alright guys. I'm gonna head back up and we call it a day. Again, there's not gonna be any uh, wrap up. No reason to. It's just here to let you know. Find out for myself that the uh, 
new TDI is doing what it should. It doesn't appear to be leaking, so that's good news. Anyway, I uh, hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, we'll catch with catch up with y'all on the next hunt. Not sure if it's going to be the depth comparison or not, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyway, thanks for coming. Thanks for the thumbs up and the subscriptions. And we'll catch you on the next hunt. Have a great weekend.